This is yours. Yeah. So it is. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. We're switching up a bit this week. We are. We're in the car. We have a matcha. I'm I'm a bit annoyed because I paid for a large and I'm not convinced this is a large. No, I've not had not. a sip of it. Mine's alright. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's a good one. Mm. We had a bad here, one yesterday, it? didn't we? Yeah, it was really matchery. She was green, mm. like luminous green. Mm-hmm. We thought we would just sit and chat because we kind of enjoy these. We did yeah. a drive with me episode and it was fun. It was we'll fun. Just answer some questions. Mm-hmm. We're going to do the same today. We are. Hello? Oh, Emily's phone's broken. Oh, it's just my brightness is really low. As always. You asked people to ask us some questions, didn't I you? I did. These are your so. questions that we're answering. Your questions. Answered by us. You. <laughs> this is like a fish eye lens, by the way. You. Do you think if we went really close, yeah, you. it would be a funny <laughs> angle? It's like when you take a picture on times five. <laughs> Literally. Of your forehead. That's not on times five. But it is. Is it? What? <laughs> It has to be so much closer. Let me do it. Oh. <laughs> that close? <gasps> My teeth, I need a missile immediately. <laughs> what the f? I like doing it to the dog. <laughs> Get me to Seville Smiles. <laughs> Get me up like the turkey right now. I would try and find the ones I've taken of the dogs, but it will take me 10 years. <laughs> Never do that. That is not a good start to the day I for the. I want to look at mine properly. Confidence, <laughs> tough esteem. That's it. Your eyebrows are flat. Your lips are. Just... <laughs> I've got a white head on my chin. Oh. Well, if that's all you can complain about, <laughs> don't worry. Do I look like that? Surely not. It's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Me and Brad did that thing where you take a picture of each other from the angle that you see <laughs> them at. Yeah. And he literally sees me like from my forehead <laughs> down and I see him from his chin up. He's so I tall. see everyone from the chin up. Literally. Right, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. If my eye waters and really so I've had something stuck in it for 48 hours and mm-hmm. I can't do anything about it. Right, best shops for autumn fashion. Oh. I feel like we answer this question all the time, but yeah, I quite we enjoy do. it. Yeah, um, Our answers change all the time. I'm going H&M. Mm-hmm. I've not loved Zara at all recently. Like I've really not been vibing with her. I haven't even looked. Naked have some really gorgeous bits on at the moment. That's true. Um, and obviously ASOS. Yeah. ASOS is just everything. Yeah. Like you can get everything. ASOS is always my answer, but mm-hmm. Naked is so good. Yeah. I don't ever like pick things from the website. I'll see things and I order things from loads of different places. Like this is from Next. I've got a really yeah. nice coat from M&S. Like, I don't feel like I really shop in specific places. If I like something, no. I'll just buy it. And especially if you see someone on TikTok. Yeah. That's my mum buy it. Yeah. Um, what are yours? NAKD. Is, mm-hmm. that, is it called Naked? I know. I've got, always got it Naked. Spells NAKD. Naked. Sure. That's also really good for summer bits, which I feel like yeah. you wouldn't really think of. No. Hollister was great for basics. Sorry, I'm just going back a little bit close. I need to go back. No, I think so. I want it as fun. Yeah, Hollister had some great PJs in that you got. Yeah, the little bow ones. But mm. I don't think they restock stuff, which is really annoying. No. The lady was the like, I don't think they'll come back in. Yeah, I was like, brilliant. I'll just stick here with my extra large trousers then. Because mm. either extra large or extra small, so we know <laughs> what we went with. Um, what do I love, though? If you had to shop in one shop, like, for the rest of autumn, winter, where would it be? Oh, my God. And you can't say ASOS. I'm going H&M. Uh, do you know what? I can't remember last time I fully bought clothes. Really? Mm. I do weekly. I'm going to say NAKD then, naked, okay. whatever it is. Cool. I saw a TikTok the other day mm. and I haven't done any research, but pa- I was about to call her Pasty. <laughs> Pasty. That's <laughs> from Love <laughs> You know, pastry. <laughs> Patsy from Love Island this year did a TikTok where she was, you know, the top shop that used to be on Oxford Street and it turned into yes, an IKEA. I saw that. Is it it's coming, coming back? back? I don't know. Has she just made that up? I don't know, but I really hope it's coming back. Same. This top shop is freaking great. 
I'd love a store again, like, but mm. with the Topshop and ASOS stuff in the store. Yeah. So I said the other day, I don't remember Topshop being that good. It was back it in was, the day. Yeah. But then like it dipped out a bit. Yeah. Didn't it? I don't know who's designing it now, but great work. You pay rice. Yeah. I'm scared because I don't know what these questions yeah, are. I know that's why I wanted to send them to you, but you like living life in the dark. I do. Okay, this is podcast related. Will you ever have any guests on the podcast? Oh, if you want to be a guest, come on, be a guest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Who is that? Up? To be fair, in their message, they put like Amelia, Zell. Oh, okay. Yeah, like she friends. gets Zell on the podcast. I think you grill should. her. She can sit in the back. Grill so. her. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If that's the kind of thing you want, then we definitely can. We can ask some questions. Should we do Zell? That'd be funny. We should. After about a lie. Mm hmm. So, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'd love to do that. How do you feel about, about that? Oprah <laughs> moments. Yeah, I would like that. That'd be fun. I think yeah. we should get the boys on there. Oh my god, we so should mm -hmm. do an episode with the boys. That'd be fun. We could ask them so much, mm -hmm. and they're like on the spot. Yeah, you have to say answer. it or shot it. We used to do one of them as mm -hmm. well. God, they used to be so big back in the day. I used to love them. them. I need to tick that question off my list. Where's it gone? Found it. What is your favourite thing about this time of year, like autumn, oh, winter? The fashion. Really? I know that's broad, but the fashion. I'd say that's quite specific. Really? Okay. Yeah. The fashion. Boots. <laughs> no, I yeah, I just Jump love the fashion. I. I prefer dressing for autumn, winter than I do summer. Amen to that. And I like getting like cozy and... Yeah, layers. Yeah, how about you? This is probably really controversial, but probably the darker evenings. Really? Yeah, because I love like, you get home and it's already mm. cozy. I do like that, but I don't like when it starts getting dark at 3 p.m. Yeah, that is a bit much. Like you'd walk home from school in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, I forget that that's No, but like happen. cozy, yeah, I get that. I don't Put know, I candle think on. by the end of it, I'm like then ready for it to like I'm excited Bee. for it to get light again yeah um and i think the biggest like thing to combat is like these early dark evenings mm. make plans yeah like go to the cinema mm -hmm. book a dinner with your friends like you still need to make plans in the winter because yeah. i think in the summer it's really easy to be like oh i'll meet you here after work yeah or, definitely when we don't make plans in the winter mm -hmm. so probably that just cozy cozy, cozy vibes let me take them off as you say them yeah that's annoying <laughs> Your writing is really small on your phone. Is it? Mm -hmm. My mum always says that, but then I think it's because she's old. Mm. Biggest pet peeve? Ticked. They could be really minor, because I've got mine. As in what? Like anything. anything. Do you want me to say mine? Yeah, I can say. I noticed this recently. You know, like the <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> me. So. Everything she does. <laughs> you know the, um, like, Starbucks cups, or like our Free Soul Greens reusable yes. cup, yeah. and you get a straw in them, yeah. and they have the little ridge on them, yeah. that's meant to go at the bottom of your cup. I actually think you do do this. People put it at the top. Oh yeah, obviously. Why do would you do put that? it at the top? That's silly. If you do that, that's silly. I swear you've done that. No, I would not do that, because I'm not silly. Because then when you go to pull it out, it doesn't come out. Yeah. And I see so many people okay. with that thing at the top, and I think that's a pet peeve. That's just annoying. That's my pet peeve. Like, it could be that much. There's that loads, better. but what springs to mind? Have you seen anything recently that annoys you? I don't know. You should have done some research, Em. I did what say I was me? the question. Um, we always say that's so annoying. Like, yeah. I'm trying to think of when you last said that. Oh, do you know what annoys me? When there's two lanes and people don't know how to merge, because yeah. that happened just recently. Learn how to merge. People that just don't know how to drive. Yeah. There's so many things that annoy me in the day, but people that cannot merge, I think a lot of people will be able to relate on that. You annoying. are annoying. <laughs> yeah. This is a bit deep. Okay. We don't have to answer it because oh I don't know if I have the brain capacity. Okay. What's your biggest fear in life? Oh, I like that one. I don't know if I really have an answer. I would say obvious, dying yeah. and dying young. I feel like that's a given. Yeah, but that's like, I feel like that's an obvious one. Yeah. I was talking to Matt about this the other day, actually. And yeah, failing in life, that's a fear. Really? Yeah. I would never want to be a failure. What would you fail at? I'd say you're doing all right. Yeah, but like if I, I don't know, if like business, my business went down, I lost my house, I That'd lost my car, really like, do you know what I mean? Like failing, like doing something, like say if I wanted to open up Let's say a fashion brand. Okay. Just oh, no. I would love to do that. Imagine if I did that and like I couldn't do it and I failed. Like that would you like would scare that. me. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Like if I do something I want to do it mm -hmm. properly. Fair. Yeah, probably failing. So really? like loads of people's are like dying with regrets. Mm. I just don't think I think about things that deeply. No. What is my biggest fear in life? I would it doesn't have to be your biggest, does it? Like just a fear. 
Because there's so many spiders. Fears. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, actually, my biggest. Yeah, this is not like. Drowning. Philosophical. No. Um, choking. No. Oh. Well, yes, choking. But this is really rude. But like hitting someone's pet on the road. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, I fear for it every single day. Mm. I drive in the dark, I think. Oh my god, I swear. If something yeah. runs out, I will absolutely. Like a neighbour's dog the other day. Just running across the road. Oh, I thought you were like, when you <laughs> hit the next <laughs> No, and yeah. it was ring doorbell and their, their dog was like running across the road. <laughs> Imagine like, if you accidentally reversed. And yeah, this is what I mean. That is actually one yeah. of my biggest fears because I don't know how I'd recover from that. Mm -hmm. Hitting a pheasant that has no name is worse yeah. than that. That's one of my okay. biggest fears. What's on your Christmas wish list? Oh, I love this one. Everything? At mum, at dad, A at mansion, at a G-Wagon. <laughs> Holiday to the mall. A Lambo. <laughs> Um, what's on my Christmas list? I need some more Baccarat Rouge perfume because I'm sorry I'm not paying the premium myself to buy it because it's expensive, but I like it. Yeah. So that's on my Christmas list. Um, some Uggs. I want some new Uggs. Yeah. They're like, going to wait till Christmas for them. Probably not. That's but they are on my Christmas list. They're the really chunky ones with like the sock. They're ever so ugly, but I like them. Everything ugly comes into fashion. Yeah. I just love little bits, you know? The sh that you wouldn't buy yourself. Yeah, mum always gets me new pair of pyjamas and I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think I'm quite easy. Yeah, I feel like we are very easy mm. to buy for. People always say we're not, but I think... I think we are. I agree. Maybe we're the problem. <laughs> I <laughs> would love... What the hell? A million pounds. Yeah. <laughs> a check. <laughs> I don't know. Me, I'm really easy to buy for. I don't know why I want. I love a trust fund. <laughs> I want. Sorry. Sorry. I need a new sofa. I want <laughs> just to get a new sofa. Oh my god, I literally don't know. Is there something you've seen recently? Not really. Do you know what I also want? A nice big brown suede bag. <laughs> okay. I'll work on that. Mm -hmm. I'll leave the back row to someone else. Yeah. Just bits again, like just little things. I'm really happy. Top ups of like, all my makeup. Yeah. I'd love a trip. That was really fun really? when you booked me a flight. Mm. Okay. They did. Just say it. Noted. No, <laughs> no, it was fun to like open. That was, that was the first time I'd ever been gifted a flight. Aww. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that was fun. If you're struggling on birthday gifts, a birthday gifts? Gift? It doesn't even have to be Christmas. like that, like spectacular, no. does it? Like you can book flights to Milan for like eight quid. Yeah, but when for your birthday, I booked us puppy yoga, like an event. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, I think doing something's fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I do enjoy like a trip or. A night away or... Yeah. An experience. Is yeah. that when we're old and mature? Probably. Nice. And <laughs> I want some new Uggs and perfume. What's your biggest piece of advice for renovating? Oh, there isn't. Yeah. I ain't got any. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, no, actually, my piece of advice, and I'll stand by this, is when you get the house that you're renovating, if you are living in it, do your bedroom first. Yeah. Because 100%. then you've got somewhere to get ready, relax, watch TV, whatever you want to do, make your room your little like relaxation area. Yeah. Because close that door, forget about it. Yeah, and you really do. Like yeah. you go upstairs to bed, you shut the door and you forget that the downstairs yeah. looks the way it does. That is my one piece of advice. Yeah. I would say carpets last. Yeah. Seems like an obvious one, but you don't know until you try. Mm -hmm. And... 100% agree with what you're saying mm -hmm. and I think also live in it for a bit and yeah. see what you actually want to do because mm -hmm. you might go in with all these plans we did it with this house mm -hmm. we were like we're going to extend up the back we never did mm -hmm. because you might even find you don't need to do that it might not be cost a longer effective. term investment or cost effective yeah agreed we did this in the first house we renovated and we had literally like stripped it down to there was like three walls left as in like no roof nothing like it was really pretty. we might as well have just like knocked the whole thing down and started again but when we walked out of our living room, I think I've told you this, everyone would tap the wall to turn the light on for the hallway, but it wasn't there. Um, it was near the front door. Yeah. So we'd be like, where's your light? And I'm like, oh, it's near the front door. But like, actually think about, like live in it, like what you said, and mm -hmm. tap the lights, like where you think the light switches would be mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff, yeah. Like, like planning. Live in it and get a space that is cozy and nice. Yeah. It is stress, and there mm. are times where you're thinking, what the hell have we done? Yeah. But it's so rewarding, and it yeah. is fun. I think also if you're doing it with a partner. Mm -hmm. Way easier. Way easier. It's really nice to be doing it with a partner, like it's like an achievement between you both, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it is stressful, and there's mm -hmm. like conversations every day. We used to always say, like, 
especially when we were renovating around the same times, mm -hmm. all we would do was answer questions or make yeah. a decision on something. And sometimes you just want to sit there and be like, and not do that. Paint it white. Yeah. I literally don't care. I don't anymore. care. Yeah. yeah. Oh, another piece of advice is you will learn to live with it. Oh yeah. Like whatever is annoying you, like in that first month of moving in or two weeks of moving in, whatever, like it then won't annoy you in like six months to come. No. Like it really won't. I had no skirting boards in my dining room in the last house until the day before we sold it. You just forget about it. Yeah. It really annoyed me to start with and I thought, I love having not having skirting boards. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is a fun one. What do you spend the most money on? Clothes. Food. <laughs> yeah, actually. 100%. Really? Yeah. 100%. Food or holidays? Oh, or holidays, holidays obvious, yeah. But as in like, yeah, day to day would be food, yours would definitely be clothes. Yeah. I spend an obscene amount of money on clothes, it's actually disgusting. Mm. But I do sell them for Ned, so. <laughs> Check it, it makes out. It okay. Do you have any holidays booked? Funny story. Funny story, that actually. Last night we all got together, didn't we, us and the girls, mm. and we are this close. To book in Dubai I'm for next year, which I'm very excited about. We've never been. I know. Ever. Ever. So okay. if you've got any recommendations, yeah. we think we've narrowed it down to one hotel. So if you've got any recommendations for like beach clubs, like where to go, restaurants, let us know. Let us know. We need some We'd love to know. advice. But that is our only holiday, even in the pipeline. I know. Like literally at um, all. Breath. Let's stick on the same subject. Mm -hmm. Favourite place you've visited, it can be in like a country or just like a specific place, apparently. Okay. Let's do both, actually. What's your favourite country you've ever been to? Mine's Lisbon, Portugal. Like, as a whole... That's so hard. I just have nothing bad to say about it. I would say America. Really? Going off of our trip, married in Vegas, mm -hmm. New York. It is a great yeah. place. Okay. If I have to pick one, it'll be America then. Okay. Just because of the memories I've had in those places. Mm -hmm. What about a specific place? Because mine would be Vegas because you got married. Yeah, but we can't pick that one because that's obvious. Sorry. I don't know, it's weird. Like, I think you could be anywhere and as long as you're, like, happy, then mm. you're having a great time. Agreed. I think I felt happiest, like, in Gilly Tea and Bali really? on our honeymoon. Mm. Yeah. What about the place that you went to last? Iluwatu. Yeah, I didn't love it. Oh, okay. The monkeys were feral. This is the thing though, because that's what I'm thinking about, like, with countries. Mm. I would say America, but then I'm like, but there are bad points I could say yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. Whereas Lisbon, I'm like, there's nothing, nothing. I could say bad about yeah, it. Yeah, to be fair. Where's your place that, like, you would have nothing bad to say about it? Probably Malta. Really? I freaking loved it. Yeah, there was nothing bad to say about that, actually. But then is it just because we had a great time? Maybe. Probably. But we'll take it. Uh, I can't pick one. It's too hard. Yeah, no. I would say Portugal is lovely, mm. wherever you go, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Malta was really lovely. Mm. Oh, I can't pick. Sorry, no. Not doing that question. Internal temp too high. Lovely. We're back. I have just realised I have had Bruce all over me, by the way. So <laughs> sorry if you can we see had a quick um, black hairs. Quick stop because the camera got too hot. Oh, we're talking about places. Okay, so actual place for me would be probably Vegas because it's literally out of this world. And I'm not mentioning the wedding, but it is like another... <laughs> Another world. Oh my god! Life. Yeah, you have. If you can ever, you have to experience mm -hmm. it because we did not. I promise you, we probably had like two drinks every night. Yeah, barely bet. The boys did more than us, but mm -hmm. like you don't have to go to Vegas and do the things. No, I would say just go and see it. Like, yeah, it's a cool place to be. We could have walked around all day and just yeah. be happy. For one of our anniversaries, I really want to hire out our chapel again and just have pics. Yeah, literally just go there and just sit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. I really want to take the dads. Oh my god! Yeah. Show them all. Kevin's not really a massive fan of flying, so I don't know if we're getting that. I did not know that. <laughs> That's it. He'd do it if he has to, but... Get on that plane, Kev. <laughs> okay, what's your specific? Mm, I hate I this game. I know, it's so hard. Just, like, comes to mind. New York. Okay, fair. What's your favourite memory together? Aww. Not mentioning <laughs> No, we can't do the wedding, because that'll just answer all the questions. <laughs> what's our favourite memory um, together? If anyone didn't know, Emily was my witness. I'm on the paperwork. You and Brad are our legal witnesses. Which is wild. Which is crazy. My signature is so crap as well. So sorry about that. <laughs> like this. Yeah. They were our me. witnesses. Great mems. But apart from that, I would do anything to relive that. Same. Probably Ibiza for me. Really? Yeah, it was so good. We just had the best time. Mm -hmm. We had literally like a 48 hour holiday and mm -hmm. then 48 hours with Yeah, probably Ibiza as well, actually. We mm -hmm. were deliriously tired. 
like everything was so funny. That was probably the we hadn't known each other that long. No, not at all. Like a year. And was like, hey, are you free these dates. I was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, um, Ibiza. That was the first time I proper heard you like belly laugh. Really? Georgia has like two different laughs. Like got <laughs> <Well>, this laugh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, then I've got, got like a like, cackle. Actual. Yeah. Like you know when she's actually found something. I like it. cry. That was just good all round, wasn't it? Yeah, I loved Ibiza. Okay, last question. This has gone so fast. Actually, can I just say what? point of Ibiza I love. Oh, if you're going to out me then no. <laughs> no. Okay, good. We, <laughs> we were, we'd been like, the day had all merged into, no, the days had merged into one mm -hmm. and we were then getting ready to go to Ibiza Rocks. Mm -hmm. I don't want to laugh, like I don't want to drink and then laugh. we had a bottle of wine in our room and we were like, we're going to have to perk ourselves up because we were like dead to the world, like Ibiza 1-0 and we had this bottle of wine but it had a cork in it. This is all on a vlog, by the way, if you want to go back yeah, and watch it. Is. Yes. Uh, the corkscrew was n no, like, not there. So there we are, trying to Google how to get this cork out of the bottle of wine. And I just have a picture in my head of Emily sat on the bed in her towel. I think there was like, I can't remember what you were doing. Were you hitting it with a, no, I hadn't. With a plimsoll? And it was like the lady on Google says you need a plimsoll to hit it out. Anyway, we didn't have that, but I just picture you on the bed in a <laughs> towel with this bottle of wine, like your like dark eyes where we've like had no sleep. Like staring at you as if you say you need to help, help stop laughing. Because I can't. And then we devoured that pizza, didn't we? Yeah. And how? then put a face on and went out. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. Did we get into the wine? We didn't, did we? No, I don't think we ever did. Well I Googled it and they said put it in a shoe and That's whack it, it against the wall. Do you know what you actually can do? You Hold a lighter I to saw the that. We didn't have a lighter. No, but we didn't. Yeah, I did see that. I was trying to push it in with a toothbrush. Yeah, you were. We thought if we can get it in, we but can yeah, really do that. That was a funny moment. There's been lots. When is the ideal, ideal, ideal time that you both want kids? Oh, do you know what I always think? I actually hate this question. Really? Yeah. Fair. You don't need to answer it if you don't yeah. want to. Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't have an answer. What is I everyone's ideal time to have yeah. kids? I hate that question and ever since we got married it's like everyone asks more and more and I'm like I will have children when I want to have children yeah like it's I don't family function yeah I don't think feel like you can put a time on it yeah fair maybe in the next 10 years who knows I feel like I have more of an idea like mm -hmm. I said in my five-year plan I do see myself with kids mm -hmm. um but I have this funny feeling that whether it's like my first first pregnancy or our first pregnancy or like my second and your first do it together so un have you seen those tiktoks where i know they surprise them. accidentally that end up yeah. pregnant that'd I be really fun honestly think that will happen either with me you or amelia yeah my one of, one of my best friends is pregnant at the moment and mm. it's weird because in school and stuff we're all always like always like we're gonna have babies together and now she's pregnant and i'm like no way even near that and it it's is. really weird yeah. but i'm like happy for her happy for like everyone being pregnant having mm. babies but not for me right now no no I always say, like, I can't even look so after So stop a asking, dog. all right? <laughs> you can't look after a dog. No, I don't have time. I know you make time and, like, your life mm -hmm. changes around it, but, yeah, 100%, we both always say, like, yeah. not right now. No. Right. Is that it? That was it. Ah. Do you have any questions you want to add? Uh, when are you having children? <laughs> Shut up. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, matcha orders, if anyone didn't know, because oh, I yeah. feel like everyone always asks what my matcha order is. Yeah, you are very specific. So it is. An iced matcha with oat milk, four pumps of brown sugar syrup, and I know that's not good for you, but it's delicious. What's yours? Mine is two pumps of vanilla syrup and vanilla cold foam. Normal milk? Normal milk, iced matcha. Mm -hmm. And it's so delicious. It tastes like a Mr. Whippy. And I'm not yeah. an ice cream kind of gal, so it must be good. It is very good. Is that it? That is it. We okay. have just come to a conclusion mm -hmm. that we think we're going to do this for the rest of the podcast. Yeah. Because it's been fun. And but let think, us know what you think. Yeah, let us know what, you, what your thoughts are with that. Because we either have the split screen, we're on our little earpieces talking to each other, or we see each other in person mm -hmm. when we can. Like, if yeah. we're then away, we'll do the... Yeah. Hello. Um, and do hello. it that way. Yeah. But I this, think this could be fun. I feel like the what they don't see behind us with our earpieces is quite chaotic, isn't it? And we, we lose internet connection. FaceTime doesn't always work. So this is easier for us, but let us know what you guys would mm -hmm. prefer. We are together all the time anyway. Yeah. So, so it's, it's easy fine. for us to do this. Yeah. So yeah, let us know your thoughts. Should we do a live one as well? Oh, no. I whenever think. you say that, I always think... Oh. I always say to Em, like, should we go TikTok live? And she's like, oh my God, me. Because people can ask what they want and I'd stutter. You don't have to answer though. I'd panic. I probably would, forgetting that I can't edit it out. True. I'd be like, I shouldn't have said that. 
Let us know if you're on a TikTok live because I'll get Emma on there. Right, that being said, we will see you next week over on George's channel at 7 pm. Follow us on Instagram, I'll leave them on screen. And we'll speak to you very soon. Can you get it so it like. Probably not. Goes across. Maybe. Instagram. I hope I've done something there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. End scene. Thanks to our audience that came out to see us today. Mm -hmm. I eat everyone that's gone through the Starbucks drive-thru. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs>